welcome back. We're to preview Sunday afternoon's Premier League match between Liverpool and Manchester United at Anfield. Pascal, start with the home side. They continued their winning one against Swansea last time out. Yeah, five wins in a row in the Premier League now, not 13 unbeaten, winning 10 of those. They are doing brilliantly. Them and Arsenal at the moment, the two form teams in the league. And you know, it wasn't their best performance in that recent run at, at Swansea. You know, it was a tough game going there on Monday night. And obviously, conditions were quite difficult in the rain. But you know, they came through in the end. A very fortunate goal it was, wasn't it? A nice ball through to Henderson. And obviously, his driving force has been really key for them in recent weeks. And the way he drove through, but obviously it tackled onto his shin and then it's hit the ground, bounced over the keeper. Very, very fortunate. But, you know, when you work as hard as Henderson does, you know, and the way he's been playing recently, you kind of earn that because, you know, the way he runs, you know, the way he challenges for everything, both in the box, in uh, sorry, defensively and in the other box as well. So he's looking really good. And obviously Liverpool now, that's they're right in the top four race now, given this recent form they're on. 13 unbeaten in the league. It is fantastic. And obviously still in the FA Cup as well. They've got that replay against Blackburn coming up next month. So it, they're, they're looking really good because they had that sort of little wobble, didn't they? They weren't great at the start of the season, obviously going out of Europe mm -hmm. as, as well, but at the moment things are looking looking really good for them. I think before, before Christmas you just said Liverpool fans would be sitting two points off the top four, four points off second, you know, they, they snapped your hand out with that. They're flying at the moment, aren't they? I don't think they're playing, they've been playing well lately, they didn't, certainly didn't play well at Swansea, that, that's for certain, but they did what good teams do, you know, you win when you're not playing well, and to keep in that race is, is so tight up there, and obviously finished second last season, we all know about that, obviously came close to winning the league, and they're not a million miles off second now, and you still look at their like say 13, they've won the last five in the league, and they just sort of, it's, it's strange as well in a way, because Sturridge coming back into the team, I mean, he hasn't been hitting sort of man, massive amount of goals, not, Sterling's been contributing, but they've been a lot better at the back, haven't they? Mignolet mean, at Swansea, he played some great saves, and obviously he got dropped for the game at Old Trafford in the season, which is the last time United, um, Liverpool lost in the league, obviously he got beat 3-0 that day, and you know, they were unfortunate that day, to be honest, you know, United, uh, David De Gea had an absolute worldy game and Stone had a lot of chances but this is obviously massive it's always a massive game but this has just got that extra something isn't it because it's so tight up there and obviously Liverpool win they'll, they'll go above United you know in, in, in the table so it's obviously it's, it's massive and you know Liverpool got confidence absolutely huge game you've got, got the international break coming up after this and then after the international break they go to Arsenal you know these next two fixtures for Liverpool I mean if they can get into the top four considering where they were that would be just a huge achievement and when you look at obviously City they're falling off I mean if City keep going the way they're going and Liverpool keep like keep mm. winning games. If, if City fall out and Liverpool take their place in the top four, that it would be remarkable considering you know sort of three months ago if you looked at the league, you know at the start of the season Liverpool were, they were a bottom half team, weren't they? Then yeah. and Everton, you know the two most side teams were there. Everton have stuck around in the bottom half, but Liverpool have just shot up given their recent form. And yeah, like you said about Sturridge, I've been surprised because he, he has his moments. I always think whenever he's on the ball, I always think he looks really good. But he's, the goals is a problem, isn't he? He hasn't come back and scored many goals, and they've get, been getting goals from everywhere else. And it's the defence, like you said, you know they haven't conceded an away goal in it's about nine hours, I think or something like that they haven't conceded an away goal in so long obviously here at home to United it's going to be you know, tough keeping out a United side who beat Spurs 3-0 last weekend but I think it, like you said it is just a huge game not only because it's Liverpool United you know, arguably the biggest fixture in the whole whole of England but given the significance of the top four Liverpool just behind them can go above United it's just it's huge isn't it mm. Yeah you mentioned the Spurs game last time out for United I think that was the perfect time of the season to produce a, produce a performance like that I mean the result United have been picking up results all season I think you know the fact that they beat Leicester as well at Old Trafford a few weeks ago and they were 3-0 up you know quite comfortably if they finished 3-1 as well but there was difference about this game you know it was it was it was much quicker the passing was better it was so that moment early on where Phil Jones almost you know he had a horror moment you know he's, he's had a bit of a stinker lately but going forward you know Fellaini he's been a lot of criticism but he caused I suppose, so many problems down that side Ashley Young's in good form and Daly Bling coming to left back and played really well you know he's not the paciest player but he's very intelligent he knows where to be in the pitch and Michael Carrick coming back in is massive as well obviously got the second goal and first goal was a lovely finish from Fellaini Carrick heads the second one in and very comfortable and then Rooney was back to the Rooney of old you know I remember the sort of 08 -09 nine when Rooney was at his absolutely dominant best playing up front terrorising teams and that's what he did you know defending from Spurs wasn't great but to go 3-0 up against a top four rival that the second half a bit, 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 bit bitty wasn't it to be honest you know not too much in it but they kept Spurs out Harry Kane you didn't really have a sniff and Chris Smalling played quite well and Raphael came on at the end you know they've got players coming back to form now and we be interesting to see what team selection is for this game like I say they're two points off second United you know talk about they've had a terrible season Van Howe's getting a lot of criticism not saying they will finish second but banging the race for the top four are fourth and two points off second you know Incredible, really. You mentioned for anything. I would think it'd be interesting to see if Gerard comes back and starts this game because, you know, obviously back on the bench against Swansea last time, came off the bench. But you know, Gerard in the past, you know, has rose to the occasion in these yeah. games, scored plenty of goals in Liverpool versus United matches. But I've been, I don't know if he will start because Henderson really has taken on the mantle recently. You know, his record as captain, I can't remember how when he wins it is, but their record with Henderson as captain is fantastic. And you know, the way that team is just pulling for each other at the moment, I think if will Gerard start, it's an interesting one because if he does, you wonder if Fellaini might. 
Gerrard's bully in the bit because the way Fellaini's been playing further forward, obviously in Gerrard's, you know, the recent years in his career, he has dropped back and played a more defensive role. So they could be up against each other if they both start, and that could be a really interesting battle. But you know, as for United, you talk about um, Liverpool having a fixture against Arsenal after the international break. If United lose this one, obviously Liverpool go above them, and then uh, United after the international break they host Villa. You probably expect to win that, even though Sherwood's obviously doing good things there. But then after that, they they face City and Chelsea in the next two, so they're both massive fixtures for them. And Liverpool, City, Chelsea, and three of the next four. It's a crucial time for Van Gaal's side because, say, if they don't win any of these games, maybe get you know one or two points a draw mm. here or there, it could be real trouble for them. And considering where they were, you know, at one point they looked quite safe in the top four. If they don't get there, you know, by the end of the season, it'd be just be a, a real disappointing mm. season for them. Yeah, you mentioned team selection for Liverpool. I think it'll be interesting for United as well. Obviously, Agüero Maria will be back for this game, back from his suspension. And to be honest, I don't think he'll start. You know, I don't think you can change a winning team. I think Marcus Rojo will hopefully come back into the back four if he's fit and at the expense of probably. Probably Phil Jones, to be honest. You know, Chris Moore has played quite well, and you mentioned Fellaini. I think he could be important in this game. And he's, when he played up up there for Everton, that was his best position, wasn't he? I think playing centre midfield United, he's not good enough on the ball to play there. He doesn't offer enough. He's not technically good enough. But to be fair, you know, he's been he's been good lately. And I think you're looking at where you fit Di Maria into the team, and he's not been great this season. I think maybe bringing him on the second half will, will, will be better. You know, when the game's a bit tighter and stuff. And obviously, it's a, it's a, you keep saying it, it's a massive game. You know, what's your score prediction for this one? Uh, it's so hard to call. I think you could you can make a case for either side and I'm just really hoping it'll be an interest I'd hope it's not too cagey I think there's so much attacking talent for both teams and I'm hoping there's going to be goals and I'm going to go for a 2-2 two -two draw 2-2 two -two draw yeah I'm, I'm going to agree with a draw as well it's, it's one of those games isn't it where you felt the first goal was going to be important don't you if it comes for United you felt that they can sort of set their stall out but the fans if Liverpool get up and you know I mean they, United lost 1-0 Anfield last season and goal came quite early and Liverpool sort of shut the game down so it'll be very interesting to see what happens obviously massive game for the fans and I'm actually going to back as a draw as well I'm going to go 1-1 I think it will be cagey so neither of us can separate these two sides thanks for joining us